Make sure that you clean your board very well since we just used these with yellow paint. And um, make sure that you've also soaked your paper in preparation for this. Clean off any excess water that may be on your board and make sure that you squeeze out your sponge because you don't want to use um, yellow paint that you've left over from cleaning your board on your new clean paper. So now you're going to, to get your clean paper and you want to make sure that you have the textured side up and lay it down nice and flat so that there are no bubbles underneath the paper. You wanna smooth it out with your sponge and also get all the excess water off your paper at the same time. So that here's a good time to check for those bubbles and squeeze out the water from your sponge. And now we're going to clean our brush because um, we may have used it previously and we wanna make sure that our brush is nice and clean. There's no leftover paint. And this is that brush that had some purple in it, so I'm just cleaning it again to get that extra purple paint off of it. So now we're ready to paint, so make sure that you have your blue paint handy and your yellow is nearby. And we're going to start with a painting story. There's your blue. So now you're going to open your blue paint and dip your toes of your brush into the pigment at the bottom. Make sure you get a lot of pigment. My paint was a little shooken up, so it was kind of a lighter blue than I would have liked. All right, here we go. Once upon a time, blue was so sad, he woke up on the wrong side of the bed. He went down for breakfast in the morning and he was really hoping for his mom's delicious pancakes with blueberries but instead all he had was some toast with some butter on it it was boring he was upset where was his delicious breakfast today no one was taking care of him blue decided that he was going to go into his room and stare out the window once he was in his room and he looked out the window, he saw that it was kind of a gray day and that the garden looked a little droopy and he felt droopy. And so he began to weep sad tears. Poor Blue, things weren't going his way. Then all of a sudden, his good friend, Yellow, decided to pay him a visit. Now, Yellow always had a sunny attitude. Yellow was very fun and friendly and happy-go-lucky. Now, Yellow came to visit Blue and looked at Blue, staring at it out the window so sad and with his eyes full of tears. And Yellow ran up to Blue's window and said, Hey, Blue, what's going on, my friend? Why are you so sad? I would love for you to play with me. Look, Blue, the sun is coming out. It's shining on the garden. Look at those rays of light shining down on everything. Blue, do you want to go outside and play with me in the garden? Maybe we can take a walk. Look, we can go for a nice walk in our garden all the way around the corner. See, look at all the plants that we can look at while we go for our walk. Over here, I see some green vines, Blue. Blue, I'm gonna run and I want you to come out so you can chase me. Watch me, Blue. I'm a good runner. Look at how fast I can go around the garden. Blue, please come out and chase me. And Yellow kept playing in the garden and Blue watched from the window, feeling a little bit better, knowing that his friend was there. Blue was just starting to think about whether or not he should go outside and enjoy the sunshine. When Yellow came right up to Blue's window, Yellow looked at Blue and smiled and said, well, if you don't wanna come out with me today, maybe another day. I'm always here for you, Blue, and I'm always your friend, and Yellow took one more walk around the garden to 
to look at all the plants and then yellow said goodbye.